Okay guys, this video is going to be on the three phase power um, rotation and sequence. Um, when I was uh, trying to learn about this and get more information, uh, I, I had just a heck of a time finding any one that would that could explain what was going on um, other than just say uh, pick up this uh, piece of equipment and turn the knob here and do what it says. Uh, so I wanted to kind of get a more detailed um, explanation of what was going on and uh, ended up being uh, pretty cool. So wanted to uh, uh, give you a, a real explanation of the rotation and uh, sequence in a three-phase power uh, application. And, uh, and then I want to do an actual uh, demonstration using an oscilloscope uh, to show you. Uh, I think one of the biggest um, uh, mysteries was that uh, no one ever seemed to address where the um, where the L1 originates from. Um, whether there is a uh, something from the from the, the power company that says this wire is going to be L1 and we're going to officially designate it um, or not because uh, they don't they, they didn't seem to there's no indication of any kind of markings or anything uh, where you would get this information so uh, that seemed weird and all the testing ones uh, uh, um, procedures always talked about having the L2 and L3 wires backwards, but no one ever talked about, well, are we sure this is the right L1? So I finally figured all that out. And the big trick to it is, is that any one of the three wires can be L1. Uh, it's just the, 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 the two that come after it, uh, you have 50-50 chance of it being um, uh, the counterclockwise or clockwise uh, in its rotation and I'll go through that in a bit but to start off with I wanted to just show you a um, um, this is a drawing of a, a simplified um, uh, three phase 120 volt system and actually is the exact uh, system that I have uh, uh, feeding uh, my my job site and um, we use the same uh, setup here and um, I'm doing a different video on it as far as the basics of it but I wanted to, to show in this drawing uh, this one little aspect of it and let me blow it up and pull it over here um, and that is is that when the um, um, I'm going to go to a, a mythical time that I'm sure never really happened but it it kind of happened in theory and what I mean by that is, is that I want to talk about the what the exact nature of the quote unquote phase difference is. Uh, phase is a really um, strange word and people really get it wrong uh, most of the time. Uh, it's better to think about it as, as far as time instead of phase, but that's a, that's a different subject. But uh, in, in this situation here, I wanted to show you um, how the power company, um, um, what it brings out to, to my job site here is it brings out four wires. It brings uh, three different 13.2 kilovolt uh, transmission lines and one new, uh, neutral ground return that goes back to the substation wherever it came from. But those, those four wires are what ends up being out here on the street uh, hooking up to our transformers. Now, um, um, at some point, what you had was, uh, and the way I like to visualize it or to think about it, is that when this uh, power generator first initially kicked on, the very first cycle of power it ever made, um, it had power coming out on the three wires. But it started off with the first one. This, this is the original L1, if you will, to where... It was the very first one where when it started cranking around at this point in time, it started producing voltage. Now, it got on this line, it started producing voltage 
with these two still nothing and it got all the way around here to the 120 degree mark of the first uh, cycle for the second um, uh, generator leg kicked in and started going uh, and started mimicking the one above it um, with its upward slope of voltage uh, with the third one still being off and then finally um, another 120 degrees or at 60 hertz 5.56 milliseconds later it started uh, to, to produce uh, the voltage now once these things got running and they started going it became, it's now impossible to tell which one was actually the first because wherever, depending on where you hop into this to look at it, either uh, any one of these three signals could appear to be just starting up its, um, its slope. But you have no idea if that was the original one. But what did stick is the fact that these three um, lines were separated, uh, delayed, if you will, the same amount of time, this 5.56 milliseconds. And they're going to keep this delay to them throughout the life of the, of the power lines. Um, and the power company will do everything it can to make sure it doesn't screw up and get these backwards at any point during the lifetime of when it's uh, being used. Um, because if they do get a couple backwards, all the motors that are hooked up to it downstream will now turn the opposite direction. Um, we'll talk about that in just a second. But anyway, um, yeah, um, this relationship will stay forever to where we're going to have this uh, gap um, in uh, the, the waveforms here, uh, this delay. So, um, once you once you're comfortable with that um, and understand that you know it, it'll never change then we can uh, look at uh, what's going on with the rotation and sequence so let me pull that drawing up here now in three phase we have three hot legs l1 l2 and l3 here and we have three different um, uh, wires uh, just for demonstration here, I'm going to say we have a red wire, a green wire, and a blue wire. Well, when you have three different wires that can go to three different lugs, there's actually six possible combinations of these wires being on here. And you see I have them listed here. You can start with the red uh, on L1 and the green uh, L2 and blue on L3. Then the next combination you keep the red on L1 but flip the the blue and green on L2 and L3 and etc as you go down the list here um, but yeah there are there are physically six different combinations those six different combinations although they they split into two different groups uh, one is what I call the clockwise group and the other one is the counterclockwise group and um, when you look at um, uh, the end effect, when you, if you hooked up a motor um, that was expecting a clockwise rotation uh, and you had the three wires here, randomly, you, uh, three of the ways that you would hook it up, it would work, and the other three ways it wouldn't. It would go, uh, it would go the, the opposite direction. So, and let's talk about... Um, well, why that is let me um, let me blow this up here we're going to look at this is um, oh, here we go um, on this one here this is our first one our first combination RGB what you want to what do you what do you want to look for is is that on the L1 as it starts its upward slope, its transition on its first cycle, what you're looking for is you're looking for the L2 to add 120 degrees uh, into the L1 cycle to start it. And then finally the L3, 120 degrees after the L2 to start its upward trend. 
So this is the pattern of L1, and you can see it down here on the other, um, one of the other possible uh, working ways, where you start the upper slope here, start at 120 degrees later, and then finally with L3, uh, you start it again. So imagine uh, someone on a, a merry-go-round, and you got three different people pushing, and if they're all pushing uh, sequentially one two three and they go in the same direction um, uh, starting with with this one this is the positive slope and this is what generally um, you would uh, think of as a clockwise rotation in your motor now that could be the opposite and maybe your your motor does the opposite drive I have no idea but uh, is you would see this pattern though that if you hooked up the three wires um, R, R, G, uh, B here red green blue that the and that made the motor go the right way that you could also hook up the, the those same wires uh, green blue red or blue red green down here because uh, they all have this similar stroke uh, going up uh, starting with L1 now, if you come over here and look at um, the the counterclockwise group, and each one of them, uh, and I put up here, you have this pattern of uh, uh, red, blue, green, or green, red, blue, and they just repeat the same thing. So you can find these three patterns within the same thing. They they just repeat. They just pull the one around and stick it in front of the other, but the same the same color sequence. Uh, maintains on all three of them but if you look what these three the counterclockwise group have in common what they have in common is is that the it is the L3 uh, leg that starts the upward stroke and that it is followed by the L2 and then the L1 so the three same people that you had on your merry-go-round pushing now start pushing uh, from the number three guy and it's going the opposite direction so this is where you get your um, the, the sequence and rotation effects from um, is that are you are you starting your push from the number one wire and continuing the push going from one to two to three or are you starting the push with a three wire and continuing the push with the two and the one so, um, yeah, so that, that uh, kind of erased all the mysteries for me. Um, and then um, it wasn't until I got uh, on the oscilloscope itself and confirmed everything. And, um, and you'll see on my uh, uh, coming up here the actual uh, demo on the, uh, using the oscilloscope. So I uh, hope this uh, helps out and uh, we'll... Uh, We'll talk to you soon. Stand by for the uh, for the demo. Okay, so we're out here at the uh, at the panel, and we're going to look at uh, phase rotation and phase sequence. Um, to start off with, uh, on my oscilloscope, I have a, a specially modified uh, test lead that has a 10 meg ohm resistor inserted in the middle, so I don't have to worry about over driving my oscilloscope or any chance of uh, causing any damage. Um, I also use a, uh, um, a little BNC adapter uh, to where I only come off the, uh, the hot leg so I don't have any um, shield that comes up anywhere near any of the uh, um, uh, circuitry up here so there's no chance of any kind of accidental shorting or anything like that. Um, if you don't know what you're doing with this kind of stuff, uh, please uh, don't even try it. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to start with uh, looking at the, the, the L1 uh, uh, main coming in. Uh, this is your first 120 volt leg. And, um, and uh, let me see if I can get on there. And, there we go. And um, so this is going to be our reference. And uh, what we're wanting to see is if this was properly sequenced is that the next leg here 
would be 120 it would its upper slope would start at 120 degrees uh, off and the third one over here would be at 240 degrees off so let's take a look and see what it looks like and sure enough there we go we got a nice um, uh, reading there and you can see it's coming in at 120 degrees uh, past the uh, uh, first one and if we look over here at the third one we can see it's coming in at 240 so let me go back and forth here so you can definitely see the difference um, and here let me demonstrate now how uh, it doesn't matter there is no intrinsic uh, L1 um, in the system that uh, any one of these three can be your L1 it's just you have to have the correct L2 and L3 sequence so let me start by uh, looking at this one and now this is going to be our L1 so to if we if I rearrange the the mains here coming in uh, and move this one over to spot number one I'd want to find the the next one to, to take this spot would be the one that was 120 degrees off of uh, this one uh, which just so happens to be the one right next to it here and if you want to look and confirm that number one now is 240 so um, it doesn't really matter which one you start with as your reference as long as you keep them the same once you establish uh, that order so I'll go over here and uh, go number three now is going to be my L1 and if we're following the sequence this should be the proper L2 um, and it should be 120 off which it is and this would be the proper L3 which is 240 so um, you can see uh, that that's basically what those rotation um, uh, sequence meters are doing for you is letting you know uh, which one now I wanted to, to uh, observe that we're looking at this uh, on the oscilloscope that we're triggered off the the rising slope and uh, that's what we're looking at is we're looking at the rising positive voltage here this is how we establish uh, our starting point so to speak so once again I'll come back over here this will be my reference uh, here is my L2 and then there is my L3 so um, yeah don't don't get fooled by just using the uh, the little meter and and you know doing what just what the arrow says uh, don't forget your basic electronics uh, to be able to look to confirm for yourself what it is so all right uh, that'll do it for the field demo